All right, so let's start this answer with regular absolute value function, y equals absolute value of x, which is graphed at the left. Notice the vertex is at zero, zero. From zero for the y value, which is where it hits the origin, the graph does go up forever. Next, let's add in the shift to the left, which comes from adding x plus one. Like with any other function, including absolute value, a plus one on the inside of the function actually moves the graph to the left. The reason for this is because now you have to plug in one less than you would have plugged in before to get the same y value as before. So all of those points should be shifted one to the left. Let's see if I can get that a little bit straighter there. There we go. In the final part of your function, you have a plus three added on to the end. And what that's going to do is take your red graph and it's going to shift it up three higher than it was before. So from the new vertex of the red one, the new corner point, I'm going to move up three. and have my new vertex point be right here. And those are actually supposed to connect together, but you get the idea. And that's the answer to the first part of your question. Your vertex is at negative one comma three. The negative one comes from here. It's always the opposite number when it's inside with the function. And the three comes from there, the number that's added on at the end. And the last thing we'll notice is that the Y values of the graph are now these ones here. The lowest y value is now three, and then the graph goes up forever, and that is the answer to your range. Y is greater than or equal to three.